You know, we just saw that great story from Ted Chen uh, about Beyond the Bell, that program known for giving students access to the arts and music within the LAUSD. William Glenn, the program manager for Beyond the Bell's mm -hmm. Harmony Project, mm -hmm. is in studio thank with you. us tonight. First thank of all, you. thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. And so, so tell me a little bit more about the program. Is it throughout the LAUSD? Unfortunately, it isn't. Um, I personally manage about four schools in the uh, Koreatown area, mm -hmm. um, and we have other hubs um, that focus mostly in like centers, um, like the Exposition Center and Expo Park. Um, we would love to have our program extend throughout other schools, but right now we're focused around four schools. What would you say to someone who said to you, you know, it, it's an extravagance that the schools can't afford right mm -hmm. now. We've got to teach reading, writing, arithmetic, mm -hmm. um, and, and other things, and music is one of those things that perhaps kids don't necessarily need. What would you say to them? Wow. Um, for me, honestly, I would say that Music is the vehicle that teaches a child how to dream. Because what I have found is that we have kids that focus in on other core subjects, mm -hmm. but music really taps into the child's voice. When you do mathematics, when you, when you read, and when you do other core subjects, you're not really engaging the whole person. You're engaging either what a teacher has taught you and what you're, um, in a sense, giving back to them. So music, music makes you a bit more of a free thinker. It makes you more of a free thinker, and it allows the child to be centered in other ways that kids mostly, you know, when they're doing math. Uh, Ted was talking about this as well. This is an after-school program. After-school program. How important is that? Vitally important. Because what we have found is that between the time of three and six, if kids are left um, on the streets or away from programs that are offering quality services, they're more apt to get in trouble. They're more apt to get into gangs and other sorts of things that we as a society don't want. So, How important was music for you growing up? Vitally. Uh, what did it do vitally. to you that... I think it's interesting because I was one of those middle kids. Middle meaning um, I didn't fit into a sports program. I didn't excel totally academically. So I found myself ostracized by both groups. Mm -hmm. Music for me was the saving grace that I had. Um, I had a teacher that really saw in me musical talent. And through that, they were able to develop me as a person. Um, and I think it's important for us to identify those kids that are not really involved in sports, they're not academically inclined um, to really excel in um, different academic uh, triathlons and things that they do at schools, um, and to offer them a voice through music. And I think for me, that was crucially important because without it, I don't know where I would have been. The LAUSD makes the decision on this tomorrow. Mm. How close are you to being on the chopping block here? Very close. Very, very close. And, and I fear that we haven't gotten the support that we need to rally behind this issue of saving Beyond the Bell soon enough. I know um, there's $7.5 million that can be recouped if Beyond the Bell is not in, uh, functioning in both elementary and middle schools. Is that what it costs to run the program, seven and a half mil? Um, I think it's a lot more than that, but I, the figures that I saw was 7.5 from elementary and middle schools. Mm -hmm. um, and and if, if they're able to, to get that money back, it's going to help some. We know that LAUSD financially is dealing with a whole lot of financial issues, and I'm not an expert, but, but in what I do, I just feel that having music as a vehicle for kids to, to grow and to explore is so vitally important. You are within the schools a lot. Mm -hmm. What do parents and kids tell you about this program? Have um, you had any budding artists that we've seen <laughs> with... with uh, well, I think... I, I mean, think Justin Bieber didn't go to school there. I know didn't that. Didn't go to school there. <laughs> um, but what we are seeing are kids who have the potential of becoming our next Justin Bieber. To, to have the potential to become our next great music engineers, music producers, performers around the world. Music is that language. And I feel now that we're, we're totally cutting off a way for a child to speak a language that helps them. Is there, uh, is there a mention of just tapering back the budget a little bit, or this is a total it, it seems like it's a full, a full on cut. It seems like it's a full on cut. And um, I think therein lies my sadness where we can't figure a way to to mitigate what's going to happen without totally devastating Will they allow you to raise funds from without the outside the district to bring in private? Um, well, I think it's important for me to step back and say that 
I work with Harmony Project, mm -hmm. um, and we coordinate and partner with Beyond the Bell. So Harmony Project could, um, but I don't know what impact that would have with the the with Beyond the Bell now and what they're facing. Um, unfortunately, that's a discussion that was never brought to Harmony Project, to my knowledge. What do you mm -hmm. plan to do tomorrow? Do you have an opportunity to speak before the board? I haven't been invited, you know. Um, and I think that's something when I go back to the office and I talk to my executive director, Michael Miller, um, talk to our founder, uh, Dr. Margaret Martin, maybe there's a way for us to get before the board and really show them the importance of what we do. Um, every summer, uh, we have a large concert that we show all of these kids that are involved, close to 200 kids now, mm -hmm. um, that are involved in this music program. Um, and hopefully we're able to do something to really show them, you know, the value of what we're doing. Well, good luck to you. Thank and, you. Um, good Thank luck you. tomorrow. Thank you very much.